Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I want to show you another tutorial using a gel print to make some pockets and journal cards that you can use in your junk journals. The gel print I've already trimmed down. It was a 5x7 on a piece of book page, and I just trimmed off the white areas. I also cut two four inch squares and I have folded those in half and I have applied some distress inks all the way around the edge. I'm going to go ahead and glue these shut because I want these to be nice and sturdy and it'll give them a chance to dry as I'm going through the next process of the steps here. I've got three four by six journal cards I've already gone around the edges with distress inks so what I'm going to do is we're going to cut this piece in order to make two corner pockets three journal cards and one belly band so yeah that's a lot that we're going to get out of this one piece of paper to begin with I'm going to cut a three and three-fourths of an inch strip and that's only because I'm doing a five by seven and I already have decided that these corner pieces are a four inch square folded in half so I want to have a little bit of a border so now I have this strip that's going to be my belly band in the future and then I'm going to take this piece and rotate it and cut a three and three-quarters of an inch square. Next I'm going to take my paper cutter and I'm going to cut this diagonally from corner to corner. So now I have two corner pieces. I've got this piece left and it's just at three inches which is pretty fortunate since I need three strips. So I'm just going to cut three strips. One, two, and three. So now here's all the pieces that I've cut. So as you can see we got what is that six pieces out of our five by seven piece of paper i'm going to go ahead and go around the edges with distress ink walnut stain the pattern that you're seeing on this gel print is the moroccan stencil it's a what i call my one of my legacy stencils or my original stencils that i offered in my shop all right, I'm going to stamp on these. What I've got here is the Shabby Stitches from Beeline Designs. This is a stamp I offer in my shop. And I've got Jet Black Archival Ink. So I'm going to take the Shabby Stitches and stamp right along that edge. You could use your sewing machine and stitch on here. Depends upon if you have one and you want to get it out. I've got a book page that is about three inches and eight and a half inches tall. I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half, what we call hot dog style or lengthwise here. And I'm going to glue it shut. I've got the postscript collage and I'm just going to stamp over this to help obscure that text a little bit and add a little bit of interest. Then I'm going to apply some distress inks to the edge of this and I'll be right back. Well, let's start assembling all of our pieces. So we're going to take this corner piece and I'm going to place it right on top of that corner piece and glue it down. The gel print of the belly band is a little bit shorter, so I'm just going to center it from top to bottom on my book page. And for the journal cards, since this piece is three and three quarters, three, yeah, three and three quarters inch wide, I'm just going to center it. It won't go edge to edge, but I think it looks good. Just right there. Let me repeat that. This is a great way to use those gel prints. You've made a bunch of them. You've been trying to figure out how you can use them. Maybe the pattern is too busy for a journal page, but if you cut it up like I have, you make several elements that you can use and it breaks up that big block of color into smaller, more manageable pieces. So here's what we've got. We've got a belly band here and one of the journal cards can go behind that. And then we have corners that you can use and they can go either direction, but I like to mix it up and have one going 
in each direction. So there are the six pieces that we made out of one gel print, a five by seven gel print. So it's kind of fun to be able to add that and you'll be able to disperse that through your journal and you get a little bit of, oh, I saw a pattern like that before. It kind of brings it all together. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends because when you share, it helps all of us that are sharing on social media to be seen. And so it's that word of mouth, if you will, just by clicking that share button. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Do check the description box for links to the rubber stamps that I use and my social media connectors where you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, including my Facebook groups. Know that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time and again on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I hope to see you at our next live stream. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a fabulous day. Bye.